This week's news was dominated by the changes to PlayStation Plus, but what else happened? Starting off with the aforementioned PlayStation news and they have announced Spartacus. This has taken over the gaming news landscape for the past week and has got somewhat of a mixed reaction. In general terms it has combined the existing PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now offerings into one package. From a cloud gaming perspective this has been somewhat of a backward step and has effectively doubled the price of entry to play in the cloud. And now moving on to Stadia and the Stadia Pro games for April, or should I say some of the Stadia Pro games for April. Coming to Stadia Pro this week was City Legends The Curse of the Crimson Shadow Collector's Edition, Ease 9, Chicken Police Painted Red. The two missing games were World War C and Deliver Us the Moon. World War C is dropping onto the platform this upcoming week and this was communicated by Stadia in advance of this week. However, Deliver Us the Moon is a completely different story as this was announced the day before the game was actually meant to come to the platform. Still, overall, this has been a great Stadia Pro month. Now on to our GPU and they had an announcement this week and the statement read, Hi everyone, you can now choose to use Windows 10 instead of Windows Server 2022 when creating a new machine. You will have to bring your own Windows 10 license, but doing so will save you up to 28% on RV costs compared to running Windows Server 2022. In addition to the savings, Windows 10 will finally allow you to play all your Xbox game, past games, as well as a few other games with Windows Server compatibility issues on our GPU. Please note for the time being, Windows 10 is only available for machines with NVIDIA GPUs. It's really good that they're giving you options in this and no one can complain about saving money. And one of the big things with Game Pass going to it that is going to please a lot of people. Luna made their monthly announcements and they went for a quality over quantity approach. They added Lost Judgment to Luna Plus and that's available now and that caught many people off guard. Also coming to Luna Plus is Okonami HD and Sonic Colors. The Amazon Prime channel has been refreshed and the games that are available are Mortal Shell, Amnesia Rebirth, Trax and King of the Fighters 1998. As a reminder, if you subscribe to Amazon Prime, you get access to this channel as part of the subscription. Xbox added two games this week in Crusader Kings 3 and Weird West, two solid pickups by xCloud. During the week, Windows Central broke the news that Game Pass will be getting family accounts. What this means is you'll be able to get Game Pass cheaper for your family, so instead of buying individual Game Pass memberships, you'll be able to buy a group one and ultimately save money. While this has not been confirmed by Xbox, given who has delivered the news, we are leaning more on to this being true. Lastly, GeForce Now announced their games for the week and the month. Games coming this week are Midnight Ghost Hunt, Weird West, Dying Light Enhanced Edition, Edix 2, Far Changing Tides, Heroes Are and Martha is Dead. If you check our video from Thursday, we go through the full game list for April. Many people have commented on the list for, um, for this week and they think it could be better. Thank you for watching the video and if you've enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. If you want to further help their channel, consider becoming a member as this allows us to bring you more comparisons, reviews and content. Till the next one, have a good one.